Are we going to get good weather for some bird watching? Well, birds might get blown away because it does look like it's going to be a rather uh, windy weekend. We've got a couple of warnings in place. Uh, the first is uh, for hillier parts of North and West Yorkshire through tomorrow, where we could get gusts uh, in excess of 50 miles an hour, so gales. And then another warning in force uh, right across Yorkshire uh, for Sunday night into Monday. And this is when we're expecting the strongest of the gusts right along the coastline. Uh, severe gales are possible into Monday morning. So in terms of rain, we've got a little bit over the weekend, but essentially there's a lot of fine weather, a small cold front on Saturday morning, and then uh, a further uh, spell of rain as we head through Sunday night. So uh, this is the satellite picture from earlier. There's a lot of cloud around. The cloud is spilling down from the northwest. Uh, there will be some breaks in it, but I think overall it does look like a rather cloudy story for the rest of the afternoon. So often cloudy, but a quiet afternoon with just perhaps the odd spot of drizzle for the hills. Uh, temperatures will probably be in double figures across most places, getting up to around 10 or 11 degrees. A very little change as we head through this evening and overnight in terms of cloud and temperatures. They will keep quite a lot of the cloud and temperatures will only drop a degree or so, but it will get rather uh, windy overnight, strong winds developing by the end of the night uh, when temperatures will have dropped back into single figures uh, around 8 or 9 degrees. So a very windy start to the day, the risk of gales, uh, particularly for the hills. Uh, there will be perhaps a few spots of rain as that cloud clears out of the way around the middle of the day. A brighter afternoon, plenty of sunshine, one or two showers uh, perhaps for the dales, uh, and it will be mild as well, the temperatures in double figures. Thank At you. least it's mild. Thanks very much indeed. Uh, Phil's back at half past six. Have a very good afternoon. Bye for now. Keely, are we yes. going to feel the effects? Uh, yes, so Storm Malik named by the Danish Met Office. Uh, Met Air and uh, the Met Office haven't uh, named it, but uh, yes, we'll get windy conditions tomorrow and then very windy conditions for the coast overnight Sunday into Monday. So more on that in a moment. Let's have a quick look at one or two. It's not all doom and gloom for the weekend. We will have some dry and bright weather, some sunshine, but some spells of very windy weather as well. Uh, two warnings in place. One for tomorrow, the risk of gales across higher ground, and then another Sunday night into Monday for the risk of gales, if not severe gales uh, along our coast, with the risk of uh, some coastal flooding as well. So very windy conditions through Saturday. It'll ease off into Sunday. Sunday looks fine. And then another weather system bringing very windy conditions overnight Sunday into Monday. So there's been quite a lot of cloud about today, but it has been a largely dry story. You can see all the cloud on the satellite picture and very little change as we head through this evening and overnight. So a cloudy night to come, the wind's strengthening, uh, but it won't be a cold night. Temperatures dropping back uh, to around 9 or 10 degrees. A quick look at those high water times then um, at five past one in Filey and 22 minutes past one in Bridlington. Uh, so a windy start to the day tomorrow with the risk of gusts and exposure. Cloudy with a little patchy drizzle sinking southwards. That's a cold front, so fresher but brighter through the afternoon. The odd shower for the hills, uh, but it does look largely dry. Uh, these temperatures uh, probably represent morning temperatures. I think it'll get a little cooler as we head through the afternoon. Then that wind will ease down. It'll be a frosty start to the day on Sunday. Sunday actually looks fine. Some sunshine clouding over from the west through the afternoon, though. And then overnight Sunday into Monday, we're looking at the risk of widespread gales uh, and the risk of severe gales along the coast. Then as we move through Monday, it looks like it'll be another uh, windy day. We'll keep that unsettled and windy theme as we head through next week. So wind, wind, more wind. Wild well, and windy, <laughs> yes. Thank you, Keely. That's no enough said. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be back with Late Bulletin at 10 o'clock. We'll see you then. Have a good night. Bye.